Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy today's video because today we are doing a speed paint. Within this video, I will also be answering questions. If you want to, please write down your answers in the comments below. And so now, let's get started. As I said, I'm going to be answering questions. I have about six questions to answer. And while I'm answering questions, I will also be talking about what is going on in this video here as well. So currently, I am over here outlining, coloring out some pieces of this guy's pants. This is a character that I made for a book series that I am currently working on. It is called Burning Blossom, and it's about this boy right here. His name is Nixon, and his whole thing is that he is an adventurer, and he's trying to find out who destroyed his home. Now that we understand though what is going on currently in the video, let's get on with some questions. First question I have is, what is your name and who are you? Well, my name is Ace Lee and I am a small YouTuber, content creator, whatever you want to call me. And I also soon, hopefully, once I get my book published, will be a self-published author, which takes a long time to do but I think it'd be worth it in the end my second question I have is favorite youtubers um I would have to say my favorite youtubers are first one that comes to mind is Markiplier mark if you don't know him what what are you doing are you living under a rock at this point but for those who do not know him he is a gaming youtuber I find him a lot of fun. I've been watching him for about nine plus years around then. He's so fun to watch. Uh, anytime I am down, I always put him on and I end up somehow gaining a smile. I don't know how he does it, but he always does. My next one I can instantly think of would be Jacksepticeye, Sean. I find him a lot of fun and he's what I bond with a lot of my friends over. He's just the absolute best. Sweet boy. I love him. He's amazing. And the next one I have to say is, is mm, Smitty. You know, the gaming milk bag. <laughs> He's a lot of fun to me as well. I love watching him play random video games with his band of mischiefs. It's amazing. It's so much fun to me. Alright, currently in the video now, I am outlining, doing my utmost to get this perfect little outline. It's the most difficult part, I would have to say, of drawing something out, especially on uh, my tablet. It's pretty difficult for me sometimes. As you see, I have little tick marks. I don't know. I saw someone, I don't know who it was. It was such a long time ago. But I saw someone doing the exact same thing, putting little tick marks in their drawings, and I was like, oh my god. That's amazing. That's so cute. I love that. And so I just tried to start incorporating into it and doing the exact same thing. Because <laughs> you know how artists are. We see something we like and we're like, ooh, let me see if I can put it in my own style. I will say though, usually, and not, it doesn't go on the clothes. Usually it goes in the hair for me, but you don't get to see a lot of Nixon's hair here. I don't know if I actually told anyone, told any of y'all. His name is Nixon. <laughs> I just, I heard the name, made up the character, loved it, I adore it. I love him, he's one of my favorite characters I have. He is wholesome, wholesome sweet boy. But, yeah, I will say doing the whites of the eyes are something else. Doing the eyes in general are something else. Usually, they're not that, how do you say, I would say stiff, honestly. They're not usually that stiff. I usually have them more detailed. They're not so simple, plain. There's my word. Found it. But, you know, make do what you want to make do with. The entire point of this was you're supposed to be like, oh, there's a character. And then later on you see, oh, there's a scenery. That's really it for this one. I didn't put too much thought into it. Whoopsie, there's those tick marks again. But I didn't put too much thought into it. I just wanted to draw something, you know. Don't ever think that you have to make like an absolute masterpiece. It has to be perfectly thought out, beautiful, gorgeous. No, just draw to draw, man. The whole point of 
drawing. Whole part of being an artist. You do what you want. You draw how you want to draw. See, Pete Sakes, I didn't even put my lines where they're supposed to be at. I changed them up last second. Now I have to go back in and fix it all. Oh. My next question I have is, if you were an ice cream flavor, what would you be? Mmm. I'm pretty positive we all have our favorite ice cream. Mine, I would be... Ooh, I have to say... I know this is probably controversial to some of y'all. I don't know why, but I would say mint ice cream. I Mint chocolate chip ice cream. I love that flavor. It is one I've always enjoyed ever since I was little. I find it just delicious. Now, I don't want to hear anybody telling me that, oh, you like the taste of mint? Ew, you like the taste of, oh my god, toothpaste? You're so gross. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Oh, currently in this video now, I am making the leaves of the trees. This I find a lot of fun because I just randomly throw down different colors of green and I just figure it out. I'm actually using a pencil tool for this and I just made it big and just went ham with it. Same with the bark of a tree. Basically the entire background I did that with. Here I actually noticed that you could see through the leaves and so I was like, oh, I actually have to make the tree look like a tree <laughs> after the leaves, man. <laughs> how it be sometimes it's how it be um my next one i have is if you were teleported into a game what game would it be and why Ooh, i like this question um i actually want to hear some of y'all's uh thoughts on this one too if you guys were transported in a game or what game would it be why why would you go there why would you be transported for me i would say um, I would say Genshin, Genshin Impact. That's also a game that we play here on this channel. So if you don't know what it is, go pop on some of the, one of those videos. I only have two up currently, <laughs> but go pop onto there or go watch somebody play it and you'll understand then soon why I would rather be there. Oh, here in the video, I had to change the bad color, as you see. It, it was gonna be like this nice little like white, kind of grayish white mixed with purple, but then I was like, oh, I don't like that, and that would be good for an adventurer's bag. So I changed it. Back to the question, I would go into Genshin due to the fact that um, I could stay in Mondstadt, because it's the land, or not the land, the nation of freedom. And everyone there seems so like outgoing. It's really nice. I find it adorable. And some of my favorite characters are there also. So I'd rather be there. In Mizuma, I don't think I'd be able to handle its culture due to the fact that I don't know much about it. And I do know it's very different from mine. And I don't think I can do leeway just due to the fact that there's so many people. And it's so dangerous outside of the... Um, town too oh my goodness i just realized within, within this drawing if you would see there's supposed to be like little charms that um go off of the bag in the front you see a little bit there within the tree bark uh i forgot to add those it was supposed to be a charm with a ch little cherry blossom on it and another charm that was going to be like this blue crystal Oh, I forgot all about them. Well, that makes this disappointing to me now. Whatever, I guess it's fine, I guess. See me literally just go start shading and then just went, yep, that bag's good. It's fine. It's done. I'm now working on the pixie, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, another question that I have is... Ooh, I didn't come up with an answer for this one. It was three songs that describe your life. Oh no, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. what would it be? What would it be? I don't know. I frankly actually don't know this one. Let me hear your guys' thoughts on it. Uh, I'll come back to it if I can remember or think of some. Well, let's go on to the next one then. Do you have pets and what pets do you want? Um, I do have pets. Uh, we have 
I say we just due to the fact that they're not just mine. But there are four guinea pigs that live within my house. One is mine, another one belongs to uh, my roommate, and then another one belongs to my other roommate, and then we then have just a fourth one that's supposed to be all of ours. Uh, they're adorable, sweet little things. Brats also. The eldest is the biggest brat. She demands food all the time. She's perfectly fine, but she always wants it. And then she also just mm, loves to just be a, so mean to the other guinea pigs. But then the moment she doesn't get anyone to be in the cage with, she gets upset and sad. So, um, pets do I want? I want, um, oh my goodness, what do I want? I want a fluffy-tailed cat. And if I don't have roommates to live with, I want a husky. Well, that is the end of this quick little speed paint. Sorry, we're going to get back to the fifth question. I do hope you all enjoy your day. If you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.